Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, in the last tutorial, we went ahead and created this upload mo uh, method inside the photo class with our photo controller. And one little instance I saw right here is I didn't add the little closed caret sign here. And I think that's all we really have to worry about. Okay, we're going to go back into this user index. So in this, this file here. And we're going to add some more to it. So this is where we're going to display the photos. So what we did with the class of span 9. I'm going to say h1. Let's just say your photos. And actually, let's go back in here to appear in the user controller here and add to this first. Let me get this done first. So, should be going to say photos equals auth user. Photos. Or it by when they were created at. That's going to be descending. And we're also going to order it by ID descending. And we'll simply start to get. Okay. So with this, we'll have to pass in two variables. So we'll pass in the title and the photos. So with. With photos. Photos. Okay. Now we have that added in, we can continue with our view. So we're just going to say at or else, right? So photos as photo. I'll show you why we use the or else in a second. We're just going to say well. I want you to do a little inline styling here. So style equals just text align. Text align center. Because we have our divs, so we're just going to say image. And source is going to be this. Photo source is photo location. Alternative text is going to be photo. Description. And yes, these are just using uh, ah. tools. Still using the level brackets, so. Photo 
It's also got a photo description. Paragraph tag, which has a description, so photo description. Now, if it's empty, okay, if it's empty, we're just going to return a div on a class of alert. So alert and alert info. H4 with a class of alert heading. These are all bootstrap. And I'm just going to say all. Do that. I'm just going to say seems if you not uploaded any photos yet. And then I'm going to end the for each. End the for else, actually. At and for else. Okay. That is that, and the only thing we should have left to do is to handle the route. And I'll handle this route post upload. The controller that's handling that is photo at upload. All right, there you have it. Let's go ahead and refresh. And there's already a line, uh, line 13. At least now it's telling me where it's at. So user on line number 13. And I did not close it. Like that. So take a look at place control on line 10. This is what else I didn't do here. Tell you what, because words, author. Let's go ahead and back all the way out of here. And refresh. You at you.com. Type on a password. And there we go. Go ahead and try to upload a pic. I'm going to upload this pic of the annex here and see if it works. The annex, upload a pic. So we have an error already. Let's go see what it is. Photo line 12. input description equals input filter var input description filter sanitize and put quotes okay maybe I put it, something in there that I shouldn't have put in there so Go ahead and try it again. So let's try. I'm just going to say test and upload pick. And there we go. And not only did it upload the picture, it also created us an uploads folder, the user folder, and the file. So there you have it. You have a fully working picture upload. You can log out here. So if we sign in, and we can upload another pic. Let's upload another pic here. Let's get out of here. Let's go to. Let's upload my picture of my synth. 
or actually in my MIDI controller and we'll upload that pic there's a picture of my MIDI controller so thank you for watching this tutorial remember to subscribe click the ads they support us like share and I'll be back soon with more tutorials using Laravel